Hello and welcome to the Springboard Higher Diploma in Software Development. My name is Joe Duffin. I'm the Program Director for the Higher Diploma. And I'm going to give you a short presentation on the diploma and how to apply for it and its structure and so on. So the Higher Diploma in Software Development, it's a one-year full-time 60 credit uh, conversion course funded by the Springboard Program. It's designed to prepare candidates for direct entry into jobs into, into software-related industries by training them to have a range of modern software development as well as team working skills. The majority of graduates of the Higher Diploma in Software Development work in software-related industries or continue their education in ICT. Applications should normally or usually have a level 8 degree to gain entry into the Higher Diploma, but is also a non-standard route for people without this qualification level, which allows them to apply for a place in, on this course. So last year we had three students enter on this route. Progression opportunities. High performing graduates of the Higher Diploma course may apply for entry to the MSc in Applied Computing and the MSc in Software Engineering at Maynooth University. So it's not a, a direct entry, it's at the discretion of the university or the department. Um, but if people perform well, there is a possibility of being accepted onto these programs. So what you're looking at is a very rigorous course, uh, 60 credits, and it's it is difficult, but people do have really good outcomes when they put in the when they engage fully and put in the effort. It's a it's it's a big undertaking, and we we stress that you engage fully with it and do the hours that we ask you to do. You'll do well, and the out, outcomes for people getting jobs or progressing to other areas is, is extremely good. So what will you be taught and is it for you? Well you'll be taught how to program the Java programming language throughout the course and you will be learn you learn to write mobile apps, web applications, you learn to design databases, how they're structured and how they store information. You understand the kind of advanced recipes of programming. It's got, it's got algorithms and data structures. You'll learn how to test software, so you'll write software and then you'll learn how to carry out appropriate tests to make sure it does what it's supposed to do. And also it's very important in modern workplaces to learn how to work as part of a team. It's a team-based job in the modern software industry. You'll also take a module to prepare you to go to the workplace for job applications, how to write your CV, cover letters, and how to develop a professional social media profile. So you'll get the opportunity to also to hear from invited speakers from industry and also past students. They'll let you know how they did and how they got into did in interviews and how they approached the job seeking process and so on. But as I said, a lot of students have done extremely well. Most students do extremely well and get jobs um, and, and pro proceed the way they want to. So is it for you? Well, some of the students who have completed a higher diploma in software development have degrees in history, English, geography, business, music, theology, psychology, anthropology, social science, zoology. I just want to get you to get the picture here. It's a diverse bunch who previously had studied little or no computer science or IT. It's designed for that. It's a conversion course. You're not expected to have computer science. And people often say, I've never done this before. We, we know that. We set it up for you, but it is hard. It's difficult, but it you it, it is possible, and people do extremely well. Uh, some students don't even have degrees to begin with, um, and that's we have a special entry for that. Companies are extremely interested in your diverse degrees, uh, experiences, and your newly acquired higher diploma in software development. So it's not only about doing this conversion course and reinventing yourself completely. Companies want to know about your past experiences and your degree. Your degree is complemented by the higher diploma. So they want IT skills and they want the other interesting degrees that you've done on your studies. So you're not discarding your degrees. The course assumes no knowledge of programming and works from the basics up. So there's no maths required for this course, but you should not be afraid of basic maths. So you're taught everything from day one that you need and it works up. And you need to engage fully from day one. You know, there's no resting. You just take, especially the three-week uh, course at the very start is very, very important. It's compulsory. You can't miss any of it. If you miss any of it, you won't be allowed to complete the course. You have to be there from day one. 
This is a very rigorous and challenging course and you need to work very hard from day one of your studies. Every student who engages in this way does very well. I can assure you that's the case. So how will the course be delivered due to the COVID-19 crisis? Well, the COVID-19 crisis will dictate how we carry out the higher diploma in software development. And this situation is very fluid and may change over time. So we're not really sure, except we intend to run a full-time uh, rigorous course with online elements that match the, the situation that we're in. So the higher, the higher diploma in software development will remain a full-time blended learning course and we expect that students will be able to attend classes on campus for a significant portion, if not all of the course hours. Students will be expected to be available from time, for time lab, timetable lectures and laboratory practicals classes anytime between 9am to 6pm every weekday, Monday to Friday during normal academic term time. The modules uh, will be taught with a number of delivery methods. We expect these to include the normal in-person lectures and laboratory practice classes on campus, but we also will use online live classes as well as recorded video and PowerPoint lessons and podcast lessons. These will be hosted on the Microsoft Teams platform and on the Minute University Moodle platform. So just to reiterate, this course is a full-time course. It's not a part-time course or a course suitable for somebody who's working and who can take the material at night time. There might be some flexibility in, the, in terms of the material that you might be able to relook at it after it's been recorded by your lecture, but it's a still a full-time course and it's not for applicants who are working. So what is the application process? To apply for the Springboard funding for the Higher Diploma in Software Development at Minute University, you should go to the Springboard website, and you can see it there, springboardcourses.ie, and the closing date for application is the 24th of August 2020. You should make sure that you read the terms and conditions that are on the website. Applic applicants who qualify for Springboard funding for this course will either pay no fees or only 10% of the fees for the Higher Diploma. See the Springboard webpage above uh, for terms and conditions. We have 40 funded places for, from Springboard for this coming academic year. This course starts with a three-week compulsory Java programming module on S September the 7th, 2020. So this three-week uh, module it was worth one-sixth of the overall diploma and it really sets the foundation for the whole diploma. And it's this, you, you have to come to it. And previous years we had people try to miss a couple of days of it and it's undermined their whole diploma. So it's essential that you, it's a nine to five course and it's essential that you work and engage fully for those for that three weeks. And that, that requires you to work at night time and over the weekends to really get you off to a good start. Students who meet the academic entry requirements but who do not qualify for Springboard funding should, should apply at the uh, pack.ie portal using the course code MHD70. So how can I prepare for the start of the course, if you ask that question? We, we assume no prior knowledge of computer science, programming, etc. before you enter in the course. It's for absolute beginners. However, if you wish to make an early start on relevant material, we suggest you look at any book or material on the web about an introduction to Java programming. Uh, one very good textbook if you want to invest in it on the Java programming language is Big Java by Kai Horstman, edition four and above, and that represents a good investment. It's very expensive, the most current edition, so get a, a, an older edition from edition uh, four and above. You can also look at the free online, online coding material from Code Academy at the following website. And you can also try writing some code yourself using the REPL.IT website. And this allows you to write a Java program, which is a text file with special syntax uh, in a web browser, and then convert that into a, a Java program and run it. Um, a, press, a series of press, button presses. And then you'll see what your program does and how you write code to do something on the screen or to take in numbers and so on. So just to get an idea of what programming is about, if you spend a week doing that, I think it'll make a big difference. Even though we, it's not a prerequisite, it's always good to prepare 
some reading material before you actually uh, start a course. The Java programming language is used in over 50% of the modules on the higher diploma course. So I'd say a week spent looking at the very basics of this language will prepare you well for the three-week programming course starting on the 7th of September 2020. And that's what's reported to us by students who just spend some time writing a couple of basic programs just to get the idea. It makes a big difference going into this three-week intensive programming course that goes to 15 days of nine to five of hard work. And having some preparation will, will go a long way. Any preparation at all will help you. So thank you very much and I hope you consider coming to us at Maynooth and doing the higher diploma. If you look at the application website on the Springboard website, you'll see some extra information. For example, you'll see the companies that have hired our graduates and you'll see that they're doing really well. Okay, thank you very much. Best of luck.